Hi there folks, today I'm going to show you how to blur out certain little section portion of video using CapCut Desktop. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I want to do is open up CapCut, create a new project. And once that's loaded, you want to import in your video. I'm going to go ahead and just use one from the library. We'll use this moving van here with full of people. Go ahead and add that to the timeline. I'm just going to go ahead and expand it out here a couple just to enlarge it. Okay, the next thing we want to do, we want to copy this so we have a duplicate. So I'm just going to do the Control C and Control V to paste. Now I just reline it back up to the exact same so they're one's on top of the other. Then we want to come over here to Effects and we want to look for the blur. So there's blur I've searched for recently. And this is the blur tool. So we want to go ahead and add that to the timeline. And we will go ahead and put this at the beginning. And then we'll stretch this out so that it is the length of the video. And then the blur, we want to go ahead and increase the blur factor on this and you want to do this especially if you are trying to blur out something that has um, like text that you're wanting not wanting to see um, such as a label or like a license plate something like that and uh, so you want to make sure you got that because if it's just a 50% it's still going to be readable um, letters are so um, just take note of that. So then once we have that, while the blur is still highlighted, I'm going to click on this mask and we want to add a mask. And depending on what you're wanting to blur, you can select the appropriate thing. So this I want to block out a face. So let's go ahead and click on the circle. And then let's say I want to block out this dude up here on top. He looks too cheerful to be, uh, be seen in public. So let's go ahead and put that over there. And with that, you can feather a little bit. I like to feather just a just a bit. I would put like maybe three on there. And of course, you can shrink it a little more. So it's, we're there. Okay. So so we'll start here at the beginning. Now there's he's this is moving, so you can see how it's not blocking him all the times. So what we're going to do is we're going to add keyframes to the various points so that it will follow, the blur will follow him. So at the very beginning, let's go ahead and position it where it needs to be. So it's over here. So now we're going to hit um, keyframe. So we're adding a keyframe. And this is to the position, the size, feather. Everything's going to be keyframed. So if we change anything on this, it's going to maintain consistency throughout. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and now we'll move this blur until it is partially off of his face. And what we can do is now we can remove this, watch, it'll add a keyframe, boom. So then we'll just keep sliding this over a little bit more until it looks like it's starting to get off of him again. So we'll just reposition it and boom, add a keyframe. And a little bit more. Keyframe. Okay, so now we have that throughout. We can go back here to the beginning. We can play this. You'll be able to see how this face is blurred out for the whole time. And we'll be able to see him. And just notice how the blur stays with his motion. And that's all there is to it. So if you like this content, please uh, like and subscribe below. Hit the notification for upcoming videos. And until next time.